Today, we embrace and honor the past, the present, and recognizing system and generational trauma, while at the same time appreciate the strength and perseverance and hope for the future. So today, uh, we celebrate the Juneteenth. We not only celebrate, but we acknowledge the past, the present, and the hope for the future. And so today, we just really think about those and acknowledge what we have achieved as well as things we have to do in the future. After our nation's founding, and more than two years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Juneteenth is a day that we acknowledge history, we acknowledge what freedom meant for uh, enslaved peoples back in 1865 who learned of their freedom two years after it had been granted to them. And it's also a wonderful day to center black culture, center African American culture and lives and, and celebrate their excellence, their creativity and their courage. So it's a day when we can really celebrate members of our community and it's I, I'm honored to be a part of it. We help the NAACP to organize the um, musical and um, performative aspects of today. Um, and we're very grateful that um, we were able to expand the um, presence of uh, local artists here uh, for the Juneteenth celebration. Our goal really was to focus and center on blackness. And part of that blackness is also black generational wealth. A part of that was lost because due to slavery. And so we want to try to help encourage uh, people to shop at black businesses, promote black businesses, so we can start to grow and develop the black dollar. This is my clothing wear line. It's called Full Spectrum. Um, I use a screen printer here and I print out all the prints and then I print them on a shirt. So I've been doing screen printing since I was 14 and once the, my mentor died, I decided to pick up the business and now I have my own. So uh, I have here some of my photography. Um, I started out pretty early when I lived in New York City. So a lot of these photos are from the uh, New York Botanical Garden. And just anything bright and whimsical that I see, I, I love taking photographs of. It's really a great opportunity to be around so many great people and you know to be able to see everyone else's entrepreneurship and be able to sell something and support everyone else's. The vibe is great, there's live music, a whole bunch of dogs and people, so it's great out here. This year, it's uh, the celebrations have grown from last year and I think what you're going to see is Juneteenth is going to be one of our signature events every year. Uh, I'm thrilled to see the great turnout that we have today. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. It's um, uh, This is my first time being here. I've really enjoyed it. There's something to know, there's something to eat, there's something to enjoy. It's beautiful. It's uh, That sense of community is so palpable and I'm delighted to be here. And I love that State College is embracing every everybody who is here and saying, you belong and we want you here. And to me, that's what Juneteenth is about, as is anything that brings people together and shows us how we are stronger when we are together. I'm really pleased with um, the type of support that we've gotten from the community. President Djibouti came out and celebrated with us. She was able to present one of the awards. And I'm just honored and privileged for her to come out and recognize Juneteenth. We also had the mayor to come out and read the proclamation. And those things really help support a sense of belonging and a welcoming environment for the center region.